I can't believe we're here. But, okay, let's focus. What's the plan? Uh, I'm gonna try to get into JFK's inner circle by pretending to be an international relations expert. This way I could keep his finger off the red button. Okay, what about me? Um, you could pretend to be my secretary. Bingo. Yes? The boys could use a fresh pot. Oh, right away, sir. <laughs> Who's the egghead? Do I know you? <clears throat> I, 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 I doubt it. Dr. Nate Haywood. Harvard? Class of 1940? Yes. Go Crimson. Well, you can always use another Harvard man in the huddle. Isn't that right there, Bobby? Class of 46. Nice to meet you. Uh, Nate Haywood. Uh, let me introduce you to the Brain Trust. We have Secretary of Defense, Robert McNamara, class of 39. Nice to meet you. Secretary of Treasury, Douglas Dillon, class of 31. Pleasure. Now that the reunion's over, perhaps we can get back to business. General Kilgore here wants me to upgrade our nuclear readiness to DEFCON 3. This photograph shows that the Soviets have some sort of space-age bomber parked off the coast of Florida. <clears throat> Damn it, Mac. What do you think, Mr. Haywood? Me? I, uh, I mean, a spaceship. It's probably made of plastic and plywood. What did you say your area of expertise was again? You know, Mr. President. Call me Jack. Wow. Jack. This reminds me of the 1942 Princeton game. Refresh my memory, son. I was too busy fighting a world war. Thank you for your service. It was a zero-zero tie. A defensive stalemate. Neither team put the ball in there, and neither got close enough to kick a field goal. What a terrible game. Both sides lost. But when we're talking about lobbing nukes at one another, that is the only way both sides win.